Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for another video. So today we are going to be reviewing slash first look slash all that good stuff of the newest stuff pack for The Sims 4 which is the Sims 4 movie hangout stuff. So we're going to jump into create a sim here and going to check out some of the new um, create a sim items that came with this pack. So this pack as you know pretty obviously detailed by the title is about movies and hanging out while watching movies I guess so um but it's also like a boho chic type of fashion from what I've read so I don't really know what that has to do with hanging out and watching movies but I guess it was just maybe a theme they wanted to work in at some point so they kind of stuck it in with this so there's this top here which is interesting I think I'd like it better in the plain colours if it didn't have the, the annoying like lines in it that it has for some of the other patterns, so maybe I'd use this black. I don't know, I quite like the style of this top, I like where they were going with it. I have mixed feelings on this top, I feel like I have a lot of mixed feelings with EA created clothing, so um, this is really nice though, they've done a good job here. I don't particularly like the pattern on this middle part, but um, obviously this is boho chic fashion, so I suppose if you're not into that then it's not really going to be your thing. So. I wouldn't say that it was really my style, but, um, well, I mean, this is definitely not my style, but, <laughs> but I guess, yeah, I mean, some of these pieces are cool, so, just looking at a couple of different options, we'll just stick it in the black for now, and um, we'll jump to the bottoms, and all the new stuff should be at the top, oh, yeah, so, it uh, looks like there's two pieces for each of the tops and the bottoms, I mean, does this, like, does this match, is this a matching outfit we've got here? No. Yes? No? I don't really know. I just know it's horrible. <laughs> These trousers are absolutely hideous. But there we go. Like I said, if, it, if they're your thing, then they're your thing. So, and then we have these... Are these shorts? Yeah, shorts. With this cute little belt idea. I kind of like these. I feel like maybe these could be used. I don't know. Possibly. It's good to have more patterns, anyway, because I always complain about there not being enough patterns and everything is too plain, and yeah, I mean, it's good to have some more patterns. Um, let's jump into the outfits here, so three new outfits. So there's this one, again, very fitting with the theme of country, eh, not country, <laughs> see, I just thought it was kind of country, um, with boho chic. Um, I'm not a massive fan of this one. It's all looking really good though. Oh, I love this. Hate the patterns. Love the style. Look at the detail on the belt though. Wow, they've done a really nice job here. Really nice. I mean, maybe I'd use the black one. But yeah, this is nice. I really like what they've done here. I like this one. This is kind of fun. Good to have some more um, dresses for the women as well with patterns. Like I said about patterns. And then there's this one. This is very, um, very floaty. I like this as well, actually. This is nice and colourful. Um, let's have a look at, let's put this in a nice fun colour. Like, like the blue. Um, and let's have some look at some of the new shoes. Um, so one pair of new shoes. These little sandals. Um, again. Fitting of this theme, I don't particularly like them that much, but they're kind of cute. I mean, I'd probably use them with like some jeans and a base and a like a plain white top or something maybe. So yeah, that is that looks like everything for the women. Otherwise, it would be yellow. So this is like my first impressions. Um, you know, the first time I'm seeing all this, I haven't gone in and looked at any of this. So all the new stuff will be in yellow. So tops, dresses, bottoms, and shoes all done. Looks like there's no new accessories. So let's jump over to a male and take a look see so we've got tops bottoms and shoes again looks like all the new stuff oh we've actually got five tops on the males so that's really unusual because you usually get more for females than you do for males but um we've actually got five tops here so oh i love this this is so fun again i wouldn't necessarily use i would oh i would definitely use this definitely use it I really enjoy it when they do something in a theme, but then they give you some recolors as well that doesn't necessarily go with the theme so much, but just more plain. Oh, but I like, I even like the themed ones, they're really fun. I will definitely be using this, this one. I think this is my favorite thing so far. This is cool as well, I really like this. The way, it, like the detail, the way the shirt hangs, like 
um, buttoned up here and all that kind of stuff. This is really cool. I like this a lot. I'm actually loving the male stuff more than I'm loving the female stuff. Oh, I love this as well. This is so cool. And we've got some crazy patterns and stuff again. Was is this? Would this be like a kimono? I don't know. Kind of. I like this one. This is cool. I'm actually really loving the male clothing, which is unlike me. I usually like the female clothing more, but hey, they're pulling it out of the bag for the males this time. Have a look through. This one's cute as well. This is definitely something you could use that doesn't necessarily... Like, it goes with the theme, but it doesn't have to go. Like, it doesn't scream boho chic at you. This is very sort of... I don't know. I like it, though. Oh, I like this. The look of this as well. Like, the sleeves and everything. Like, the way they're rolled. They've done a really good job on the, like... Is it the mesh? The texture? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about from that point of view, but it just looks really nice. So I like what they've done a lot. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. This is... It's a shame this one didn't come in some plainer colours as well, like without the without the theming on it, but that's okay. So, love this. We're definitely going to stick with this. Um, bottoms, let's have a look. So, two new bottoms. So we've got, actually, we'll put a... This t-shirt, this t-shirt. Where's the t-shirt that tucks in? Ah, that'll do. Just so you guys can see the top of the trousers. And, um... Oh, lost them now. So, oh, they look like come with, like, paint stains or whatever. That's really fun. So that would be cool if you're making, like, an artsy sim or whatever. And then they come in some plain, just, like, normal jean colours as well. So that's cool. And then we've got these, like, tracky kind of pants. Tracksuit bottoms, joggers, whatever you want to refer to them as. These are nice. I like these. These are kind of cool, even with the funky theming on them. I still like them anyway. Um, shoes. One pair of shoes. Like these sort of boots. I like these a lot, actually. Even with the funky patterns on the side. These are cool. I like those. I'd use them. Um, okay, let's take a look at some kids while we're here, because the teenagers, the adults, and the elders will all be the same. So, let's take a look at some kids stuff. Okay, so this is the new stuff for the kids. Um, this is very, very colourful. I don't know, this is fun, especially for kids. Um, okay, let's have a look at, nope, oh, the outfits. Oh no, hang on. Need to filter, no new outfits. Um, a pair of new bottoms here. Again, I think these are supposed to, like, go with the top, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Are these pyjamas? Do you think these are pyjamas? Or is this just like a really out there outfit? I don't know, it's hard to know. Oh, wrong one. And no new shoes. That is interesting for the kids, for sure, to say the least. Um, so two new tops for the girls. Yeah, these are definitely pyjamas. They're like unisex pyjamas. And then you've got like a little vest as well for the girls. I'm assuming in the same sort of colours, yeah. And then... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Movie hangout stuff. Yeah, just like the same pajama bottoms. And yeah, I think that's everything. So, okay guys, so as I was creating my sim, I totally forgot that we, I didn't even look at the hairs or anything. So there is new hair as well. And this one is absolutely amazing. They've done such a good job. So um, yeah, amazing. This one is so nice also. Again, such a nice job. These are longer hairs. We've been asking for longer hairs for a long time, and we've been told oh, we can't have them or whatever. But these ones look longer to me. And then you've got, like, um, I'll show you this in a blonde as well, so you guys can see the detail. Just looks absolutely amazing. Such nice hair. They've done a really good job. I love this one. I will definitely be using this. Um, and then there's, wow, this is super detailed. Love this so much. Wow, this one's really amazing. And then... This one with like all the highlights and stuff in it is really fun as well. So they've obviously got some crazy colour. Whoa, that one is super crazy. They've obviously got some cool colours going on here and stuff. So that's really nice. I like this one the most though. Um, and we've also got new hats. Um, oh no, just the one. Oh, I love it though. And it comes in plain colours as well, so that's really cool. And the accessories, which I totally forgot to show off. Um, oh, these are some cool shades. Love these. Oh, and you can darken them as well, that's new. Love these ones. Love them. <laughs> okay, let's show you the guy's um, hair and stuff, because I totally forgot to do that. So that's my bad. 
I love this one. This is really nice. Again, I'll get it in blonde so it's easy to see. This is so nice. Let's remove that facial hair. It looks stupid. Oh, wow. This is very surfer, isn't it? This is very, um, Harry Styles. <laughs> Could be. Um, okay, so now I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, so we are moved into a lot, and we are going to go in and take a look at all the new stuff. So I have placed down some of the new rooms that come with this, the pre-made, pre-furnished, made, pre-made, finished, whatever you call them, rooms. So um, they look really cool, and they come in a bunch of colours, but I just picked a few different ones for each thing. So I'm seeing a bunch of awesome items right now. I absolutely am in love with the furniture way more than I was, was the creative sim items to be honest so this is like a pre-made living room that we have um, and this is a pre-made dining room that we have here so as you can see like there's so much colour involved in this pack and it just looks so good I absolutely love it um, so we've also got this outside room which obviously has the new television in it which looks amazing so we're gonna hop in here I've got all the items up so as you can see these are all up items in build and buy mode and I'm gonna drag all of them out and we're gonna look at all the colors and everything and just I'm very excited for this it looks so good and I think they've done an awesome job of um, actually like sticking to a theme like it's really amazing I just think it looks so good. I'm just going to put those chairs over here, actually on the table. Um, and we're going to use these walls if anything needs hanging. So there's like a end table here, looks cool. And there's so much cool stuff, guys. Doesn't it look amazing? I'm like really, really excited because I didn't think... Well, when I first saw the pack, I wasn't that excited for it. I won't lie. This is the mirror table which you can't really see too well here, but if we go into this room, you can see it reflects the lights and everything. That is amazing. That is so cool. I really love that a lot. Let's have a look at some of the recolors for this, like straight away. This is so sick. Okay, and there's, what is this, a plum? Oh, this is cool. I love this. Look, it's like little flowers hanging out of little glass pots. So nice. <gasps> I'm in love with this plant. I'm in love with this plant. This is so cool. Oh, and the flowers change colour with the plant pot. And again, look, they've given you some, like, base colours, like, some plainer colours if you want to put it in different builds. Oh, cool, it's like mosaic, which I noticed first of all, but look, it comes in different patterns and stuff. That is awesome. Okay, love this. Love these, look. This is like a little decorative object, like cups and pots and books with cactuses and flowers in them and stuff that is so cool i love this so much so so much it's the decorative objects that usually like make or break a pack if the deck if the decorative stuff is awesome then you like want to buy it straight away and these are obviously some of the movie posters which did we already have we got some in an update i don't think they were these ones though i'm pretty sure they weren't oh i didn't mean to do that <clears throat> I have to excuse my sniffing as well, I'm getting over a cold, which I did mention in my last video, but if you didn't see that then you won't know. Um, I love these, these are so cool, and obviously they like, symbolise movies in real life as well sometimes, so yeah, I'm not going to guess which ones because I actually have no idea, but, um, new paintings and stuff, The I love these, I will be using these all the time, oh my god, this one, yes. And how good is this one for like a girl's room or something, or like a really girly house, or if you just like that, then yeah, absolutely, oh wait, wrong thing, I am obsessed with these, this, oh my god, this one guys, I will be using this all the time, all the time, like this three colour right here, amazing, is this a mirror or a picture, this is a mirror, I don't like this, but I'm too excited to care, so, and these, I saw these in the dining room, these are curtains, these are curtains, and I'm excited for these because, oh, we can finally, like, extend curtains, so if I wanted this whole wall to be covered in a curtain, I can totally do that, well, I can't because there's a door there, but, we're going to delete it so that I can show you guys what I mean, look, how cool is that, how cool is that, guys, let's have a look at some of the recolors for these, oh my god, there's so many recolors as well, ah, yes, they come in cream as well, and black, and why? So th you could, t these are totally versatile, that means you can use them in any build, basically. Modern, more traditional, boho, girly, like, teenage rooms. D these are, 
I love that we've got so many swatches here because this is what we need. We need a whole variety of swatches. I absolutely am in love with these curtains. Absolutely in love. Let's change the colour of them to like something even more crazy than what they already are. Yes, love it. What is this? This is a rug. Size it up. Still looks amazing. Let's size it down. Let's see what our options are. Wow. Wow, I'm really impressed so far, guys. Really, really impressed. I mean, this was £7.99, uh, and like the amount of content and effort that's gone into this, much better than Cool Kitchen, because I know everybody has a rant about that pack, I'm not going to go into it. Love this, this could so be used in a modern build. Sized up, looks amazing. So impressed with that so far. Uh, a massive kind of like tapestry kind of thing, not like a tapestry, but sort of like that. I think these are the same kind of recolours as the rug, maybe? I don't know, I just like it anyway. This could like totally be used for a super colourful build, for sure. More decorative things, so you've got like a whole bunch of candles here. This is really nice, I like this as well, again. Comes in neutrals if you want to use it in different builds. So handy, that's what I look for in most packs. Does it come in a neutral colour? Because you're going to be wanting to use it again and again, so like you want to get your money's worth as it were. Let's thin this out and have a look at this light, so this is that starlight which you yeah, can see right here actually. Again let's have a look at the colours, oh this is sick, look this one kind of looks sort of more see through in a way. I'm super super impressed with this, oh like a solid white, I don't like the solid white, that looks weird. But the other cut. wow this one's cool. They actually ho uh, hang down quite low, let's uh Let's span those up a bit and see how it is. That's cool. I really like that light. That's nice. Um, what else is there? Oh, a new tree. Okay, random. What's different? Oh my god, it's got lanterns in it. That's what's different about it. Let's um, size this up so we can see even easier. Oh wow, that's really cool. So you, oh, you can recolor the tree as well. Well, not the tree, but three colours, the lens. Again, some neutral colours, some more fun colours, black and white, that could work well at a wedding, or... Oh wow, yeah, you can recolour the tree, you've got purple leaves on this one, on blue leaves, this is really cool, pink leaves, and then green ones. That's nice, I like that, that's a really awesome, like something awesome to add in that we don't have, or I don't think we've ever had, I mean you can obviously do it with the move objects chief, but... That would take a long time to do, like to be placing all the different kind of lights, so that's really nice. Um, oh, of course, the main feature of this pack would be the big television, which is like a projector screen, I think, if I read right. Yeah, because you can kind of see down here, there's like the projector that projects up. These speakers are kind of hefty, though. That's the only thing, but I mean, it is a massive like projector screen television, so it makes sense don't like it in the wood, that looks kind of stupid, but I guess I guess not, suppose, since this is just like a piece of projector screen material thing, uh, I'll delete that because we've got one over here, and then, oh you've got like a wall mounted one as well, so that's cool, let's um, throw this on the back here, I like the wall mounted one more, I won't lie, I mean this comes in different colours, that's weird, I like the wall mounted one a lot more, a lot more. Let's um, let's build a wall over here, and then we can get that out again. Uh, where is it? It is there. Oh my god, I think we've looked at everything, guys. Is there? Oh no, no, no. There's still a few things. So we have this wardrobe. I'm assuming it's a wardrobe. Again, in a few different, lots and lots of different colours. How adorable is this? Like seriously, this pack. I was not expecting to like it this much, to be honest. But I'm super impressed. And then, last but not least, would be the popcorn maker, which we also have one here. And this is the other bit of like inter new interaction stuff, which I'd like to note. I thought it was game packs that we got additional gameplay with, and stuff packs was just stuff. Like, is a popcorn maker not additional gameplay? And this television, I'm pretty sure, involves additional gameplay. Like, that's what we're going to hop into right now. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I know that she needs to go to the toilet. Typical. We don't have a bathroom, so let me jump back in and grab a loo before she freaks out. Um, let's put one inside here. Uh, why she's going to use that? Yeah, because I thought game packs were like gameplay, so and stuff packs were just stuff. I don't know. Am I getting confused? Anyway, let's have a look. So 
On these, you can watch normal television, um, watch movie, or you can watch a specific movie. Oh my god, there's loads. So, I don't know what, like, these actually do, but there is a lot of options. Adventures of Spaceship Simulation, watch College Cram, watch Diamonds Are For Sims. Let's go and watch Diamonds Are For Sims. She acquired the cooking skill. It's probably not a good idea to leave those in there, but anyway. Um, oh, okay. I'm going to be quiet for a second and just let's see what happens. I don't know if you guys can hear the sound. I'm really sorry if you can't hear the sound, but I mean, I don't want to show you too much because obviously you want to get it for yourself anyway. So, to me it looks like, can we actually fast forward? Does it fast forward in the movie? No. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, it does fast forward in the movie. Oh, and it looks like they've actually set up like a... There's like an actual film from what I've read. So like your Sims will actually sit here. Oh yeah, look, there's like a timer thing on the TV. Watch Diamonds Are For Sims. So she'll be done in like... An hour, maybe? Yeah, like an hour. So it's like an actual full movie. Which is really cool. Has she got any new... Moodlets? No. Let's finish the movie and see what the moodlets say, and we'll make a get to make some popcorn in a minute. Okay. Uh, interesting flick from watching a movie. That movie was interesting. Worth a watch at least this once. Okay, so she didn't love it basically, but she um, enjoyed it quite a lot. I'm gonna get her to finish those hot dogs before she finishes, like before she sets the lot on fire. So let's go and cook buttered popcorn and cook caramel corn. Why can't we do that? Uh, level seven. We need to be to do that. Okay, let's have a look at this animation. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with it so far, to be honest. Oh, this fancy little light at the front here. And, oh, slowly getting there. This is cool, I'm liking this animation, this is cool. Oh, and she's done. Oh no, she's taking a hot dog. <laughs> I thought she was done. Come back here and continue to make your popcorn. So, like, how long do we have to wait? Six, oh no, that's six hours until a spoil. I thought that's how long it was going to take. I was like, whoa. So is it done? It's done. So we can grab a serving or empty popper. So let's grab a serving. And she's going to go sit in the dining room, isn't she, with popcorn? You think she'd just sit in front of the TV, wouldn't you? But oh well. Oh, and they actually, oh, this is cool. This is good. Because with Cool Kitchen and the Ice Cream Maker, they ate it like so stupid but she actually goes in with two fingers pinched and like pops it in her mouth like you would with actual popcorn I'm so impressed with that I really really am impressed so let's get her to finish this bowl off and see what her reaction is after she's finished eating this popcorn wow it lasts a really long time as well so like I think it's maybe like a full meal or maybe not quite a full meal I don't know let's see when she's done she's also viewing this little plant pot over here it's pretty cool, I'd view it too. And she's all done, let's see what it says. Pretty tasty, this was a fairly tasty dish. Oh, I think that's one of the normal moodlets. So no new moodlets for the popcorn maker, or that I can see anyway. Um, let's hop into build mode, because there are a few new items I believe. So some new doors, or maybe just the one, uh, like two? Yeah, two, because I saw them already. So you've got like this one over here, and then this one that I deleted earlier. Um, I just remembered that I had to show these off. So, yeah, this is cool because they kind of got that scratched wood look to them as well. So lots of details. I'm impressed with these. Wow, that one's super colourful. Let's grab that one. Overall, I was not expecting to like this pack at all, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a bit of a waste of money. Um, I like to get all the Sims content because sometimes they surprise me. And in this case, they totally have. I'm really impressed with this content. I think that I will be using a lot of the furnishing, not a lot of the creator sim in my opinion. I love the hair, don't like any of the outfits or clothes really, in in my opinion. Maybe you guys will love it, I don't know. I absolutely love the build by mode stuff, I think it looks amazing. So it, like I said, it is £7.99, um, I'm sure it's a similar price in wherever your country you're from, and it's not expensive for what it is, I mean, you used to pay for more for store content in The Sims 3 and you'd get less. So to me it's totally worthwhile, like worth value, and I think you get some really cool things. Even if you wouldn't use anything, uh, everything, like I wouldn't, I think it's probably still worth it. Just for like this rug and these pictures alone. And this mirrored coffee table. And these curtains. And the TV. Yeah, I really like it. 
um, I would definitely recommend. I'd give it like a like a strong 7 out of 10 to be honest. So yeah, um, if you like this video then please give it a massive thumbs up. If you're going to get movie stuff or movie hangout stuff, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if this video was helpful, if you liked this video, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye everyone.